little pit stop and now I'm gonna get over to Lake George. Good morning, it's 7 a.m. I am up, ready to go. I'm heading an hour north into the lower high peaks area of Adirondacks. I'm either gonna be doing, um, uh, what is it, Dix, Hugh, and Macomb, or I'm gonna be doing uh, Pinnacle, Nipple Top, and Dial, we'll see. Here, I made it to the parking lot. As you can see, the trees are beautiful. I'm very excited. My pack is all loaded with water. Super excited to get going, but now I just gotta make the decision of if I'm going behind me, which is to Dix Mountain, Hugh, and Macomb, or if I'm going across the street to Pinnacle Peak, Nipple Top Mountain, and Dial. And I think I wanna do the harder one today. I can come back tomorrow and I can do that tomorrow. Hmm. Okay, I've decided to go across the road. Registration is required. So I gotta sign myself up. Okay, I'm gonna be me right there. should also note that I started the trail a little after 8 a.m. So we'll see how long this takes me. I'm sure I'm gonna stop to take a million photos because it's so pretty. Smells amazing. Oh my gosh. Pine trees and freshly fallen leaves. We've come to 
a little river. We're gonna have to cross over there to get up there. As you can see, that little blue dot is the trail I'm following. This is exactly what I needed. I have to cross another little river. As you can see, there's my marker. As you can see, this might be a bit confusing where that one over there says a couple things and then this one says here. But I just checked my map and I'm going this way. I'm still following the blue dot. This trail is perfection. Moss, fern, and colorful leaves. I am very happy. So while I was coming down this, I totally missed that sign and walked about half a mile in the wrong direction. But I know where I'm going now and I'm following the red dot moving forward. This is a workout. The red dot trail is a little harder to follow. There's also a very serious thing going on with the mud. With all these leaves on the ground, this is an example where you can kind of see the mud. Um, but when the leaves completely cover the ground, you kind of step into these mud holes. So I'm trying to be careful. I found this little waterfall. Super cute. If I run out of water, I know where to fill up later. I've hiked 5.7 miles so far. Uh, I'm at the point now where it's about to get really steep. I'm going up to Pinnacle Peak. I've realized that there's actually another peak along the way to Nipple Top. It's called Mount Colvin. Uh, so I'm definitely going to get to Colvin. I'm going to see how I feel and then uh, see what time it is and decide how much farther I'm going. These guys are much harder to find. I've almost reached Pinnacle. Colvin's another 4.4. St. Hubert's is 10. St. Hubert's is Indian Head. And uh, I imagine the other two peaks I want to do are probably more like 10 miles away. So I might just go to Colvin, but we'll see. Hopefully I get some good views up there. The fern says to go that way, which is indeed the trail. Pretty steep, but it's just a little leg to go. 
So he has a pinnacle. Point two to go. Oh, bummer. So the ladder's broken, that's supposed to be that way, up to that. I don't know that there's any other way up there. There's this over here, I'm just not sure if it's worth trying. Okay, well that was a bust, couldn't get up. So I'm gonna go towards Mount Colvin and Blake Peak. Pinnacle was not worth the risk, the ladder was broken. Um, Looked like some people tried scrambling up that, but it's so muddy and slippery, so not worth the risk. I'm just going to keep going this way towards Blake Peak and Mount Colvin and hope that I get some pretty views along the way. I'll be honest, I'm kind of bummed right now. Uh, this is a really long hike, and there's just no views. Uh, so I'm hoping that continuing onward is going to be worth it. Uh, I don't know. Fingers crossed. Okay, well, if this doesn't lead to a view, then I don't know. I give up. <laughs> Can you see the fog between the trees? There's a little bit of mist coming down from it. Kind of nervous that even if I do find a view, I won't be able to see. I found a lookout. This is called 72 Steps Lookout. Whew, thank God I found this. Wish I could see a little bit more, but I'll take it. So I got a little lookout. It was very pretty. Not quite what I was hoping for, but I'm grateful to have had even a little lookout. Um, it's another mile to Lookout Rock, which I would imagine has an even better view. So I think I'll do the extra mile. It's two miles to Blake Peak, but my feet are starting to hurt and I have a really long way back to go. Uh, I haven't checked my mileage yet, but I've gone very far and I have to do all of that back to the car. So it's 2 p.m. and uh, I guess I'll see. I just passed the only other hiker on the trail and he said that there just really aren't a lot of views on this hike. And then he even said, I said, well, is uh, Dick's Mountain better? And he said, no. <laughs> I'm like, okay, now I'm confused. Um, so just making the best of it. I mean, I certainly got a workout in today, that's for sure. Half a mile left till I get to Lookout Rock and then I'm turning back because I'm running on borrowed time here. Apparently I'm going up this. You can see the uh, red dot up there. Okay, I'm probably almost there. Lookout Rock. Time to climb. Hallelujah. This is all I wanted. I'm so glad I walked the extra mile. How beautiful. Time to head back down. I've done about 8.6 miles of hiking today. Uh, it is around 3:07 uh, p.m., which means I have only about three hours of daylight, so I need to book it. 4:30. I made it back to this junction, Pinnacle, aka Broken Ladder Trail. Um, so I'm going to go down. I've got an hour and a half. Wish me luck. 5:10. I'm back at the waterfall. Either I'm on the wrong trail now, or I was on the wrong trail then. I think I was on the wrong trail then. So let's keep going. It's 5.30, I reached the Pinnacle and Elk Lake meet. Oh God, I got six miles to go. Ugh. This was not part of my plan. This is my view right now. I've got my headlamp on. I'm not a happy camper. It's 6.55 p.m. I have two and a half miles to go. Luckily, I have my headlamp and it's all downhill from here, so at least I won't be climbing up. Oh my god, hallelujah. 
I'm back at the car. <laughs> it was so stressful. Got back around eight. Oh, that was not good. Uh, just took my pack off. I'm eating a snack. I'm terrified to take my shoes off. I think they're, I think my big toes are all bloody. I'm dripping in sweat. I was having a panic attack basically the whole hike back. So I don't know how much of this video is going to end up being shared. But now I'm driving back and I'm really feeling terrible because I think my mom's probably freaking out. So hopefully I get service soon and I can call her. But this has been very stressful. Back in the room. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to be back in here. Feels great to not be in the woods and to be in a hotel room. Um, yeah, I'm about to take these shoes off and I'm actually kind of terrified as to what I'm going to find. I can hardly walk. I'm in a lot of freaking pain. And then even better, take a look at my hair. Take a look at this knot. Oh my God, this pretty much sums up the day I had. This is a giant dreadlock, holy crap. It's the same from this side. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun to get out. Time to take off the shoes and see what the damage is. I'll do the right foot first because I think it won't be as bad. Okay, no blood on the sock. That's good. Oh, oh just rough. That's okay. I'll do that. This one is going to be the real, I think. We can, we'll see. Maybe it's not so bad. So don't see blood, so that's good. Oh! Oh God, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's black and blue though. That is not the right color for my toenail. What's wrong with it? Good morning. It's my last day in upstate New York. I'm still at Lake George. I was very grateful to get back to the hotel room last night. Um, obviously, yesterday's hike was a bit of a disaster. I guess I can attribute that to, you know, I only had one full day here and I just really wanted to see some views. And when I got to the top of Pinnacle, the ladder was broken. So the next view was two or three miles away. And that doesn't seem long, but on a hike, two or three miles is hours. It just, because you're going up and down and it's just a lot. Um, the leaves covered the ground, so I couldn't really see where I was stepping. So I think that's why my toe is all messed up. Um, I just slammed it so many times on accident just because I couldn't see that there was a rock there. Um, so that's that. But yeah, that was really stupid. And if I do end up sharing this video, that is a good reminder of the types of things that can go wrong on a trail. Uh, again, I'm not sure yet whether or not I'll share it, um, but if I do, just take note that not everything goes perfectly every time and sometimes you get caught in a situation that's less than ideal or slightly dangerous and you have to you know make the best of it try to be prepared as much as you can um like i said luckily i had my headlamp which is a huge because i would have been in serious trouble if i did not have light i couldn't see anything um and uh again luckily it was not a very cold night i was not cold at all it was more of just a I'm in the dark and I'm scared uh, and I was kept getting lost so that was the biggest thing was I just kept getting lost and today I'm gonna go drive around Lake George um, all hikes are out of the question because of my foot 
Um, so I'm wearing flip flops because sneakers hurt too bad. And so I'm just gonna drive around the lake, catch some views. It's raining this morning, so it was a great excuse to sleep in. Because I think the rain's supposed to clear soon, so I'll get some sunshine, hopefully see some beautiful leaves, uh, changing colors, and then I might go to Shroon Lake or I might head down to Hudson Valley to catch sunset. I, I'm just gonna keep an eye on the rain because if it's gonna rain around sunset time, there won't be any sunset to watch. So I'll just keep an eye on the weather and hopefully catch a few hours of pretty views. As you can see, the views are still a little foggy. There's still some rain clouds hovering low. So I'm gonna come back here again later around two or 3 p.m. to see how it looks when the sun's out. That's when the sun's supposed to come out. So in the meantime, I'm gonna keep driving around, see what I can find, and I will let you see what I discover. I've been sitting here for a minute, contemplating what to do, uh, checking the weather. It's not really clearing up and I'm not, it's saying there might be an hour or two of sunshine, but it's kind of silly just to sit here for hours. So uh, down by Hudson, New York, um, in the Catskills, there is sunshine, it says. And I think I'm gonna go try Catterskills Falls. It's an easy hike, it's a mile. Hoping my foot is okay. They say it's really easy, so I'm gonna head down that way. At least it's on the way home. So if worse comes to worse, I can just keep trekking down. Um, and yeah, we'll see. I was looking up spots for sunsets down there. So maybe I'll catch a sunset in that area instead. I don't know. I'll keep you posted. Okay, heading back down the mountain. It's drizzling a little bit, but the clouds are clearing and I might stop at those few viewpoints that I hit on the way up just to see if the view has gotten a little bit better. minutes back from the viewing platform it's about 50 to an hour i'm at catterskill falls i'm gonna do a little hike down to the bottom here see the falls and then maybe go up to inspiration point we'll see um but this is beautiful let me show you I'm already stopping to put a band-aid on the back of my heel. All bandaged up. Got some pretty nasty blisters yesterday. I already put one on this foot in the car. Can't see. Okay, let's give this a shot.
All right, I'm making my way back up the trail. I'm gonna go try Lower Falls. I'm sporting a really serious limp. I do not think there will be any hiking to Inspiration Point today. Uh, I'm kind of shocked I even got my sneakers on, to be honest. Ugh. Okay, made it back to the fork in the road. I was just down at Falls Viewing Platform, and now I'm going to Lower Falls. Heard there's 72 steps, so we'll see how I do. Going to the fork, I'll be going that way. Trail to Lower Falls is this way. Warning, trail becomes steep and more difficult with 181 steps to Lower Falls. Consider your capabilities, avoid an injury. Probably should consider my capabilities right now. <laughs> and yeah, I'm hobbling. I got a, I got a serious lump right now. But I'm just gonna take my time. This is pretty much all I'm doing today besides trying to find sunset. So as I was walking to this part of the trail, I saw a guy and some of his uh, family coming up a different trail and I said, hey, where does that go to? He said, oh, it actually has a really cool overlook of Catterskill Falls. Like you go down there and you can see over the top of it. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Like how hard was it? Um, he goes, oh, I mean, it wasn't too hard. Uh, he's like, it's pretty easy at first. And then you get down to the, a little closer, it gets a little steep. I'm like, okay, well, if you had a bruised toenail that's probably on the verge of falling off, would you still do it? And he goes, well, I don't have that problem. And I go, and I look down and he has no legs. <laughs> I'm like, I would ask a guy with no legs and no toes how it would feel to hike with a bruised toenail. Like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> he totally laughed, but still, I just couldn't believe. <laughs> of all the people I asked. Come on, Nikki. Came down a whole bunch that led down here. And now I'm going down all those. Get over there. You see these beautiful falls from below. I think going down is more painful than going up, but I'll let you know on my trip back up. Going up is definitely less painful. Harder from an endurance standpoint, but less pain on my toe. Still some pain, but less than when I go down the stairs. Time to go back to the parking lot. This is the trail where I asked the gentleman with prosthetics if it was too hard to do with a broken toe. Uh, needless to say, he laughed at me because I did not look down before asking that question. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. So far, so good. I did it. I got down to the viewpoint at the top of the waterfall. My limp is much worse right now than it was earlier today. 
but I'm still chugging along. I'm doing okay. Uh, I'm getting to the end of this little path and then I'm gonna head back to the parking. Ah! Oh, okay. They were just up there, I didn't realize. I am so grateful to have come here today. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with my rainy day up north, so I came just two hours south and this is beautiful. This is just what I needed. Um, beautiful sunshine, beautiful colors, beautiful waterfalls. Um, but yeah, so I'm very happy. I'm gonna head back to the car now and then go over to, I forget what the name of it was, but I was told that it's a really pretty overlook. So I just drive up, get out of the car and look, no hiking. Uh, my feet will thank me. I made it back to the cars. I gotta look at this map to see where this overlook thing is. Okay, he said it was over here somewhere. Mountain House Trail. Park and look. Oh, they left. I wish they were still here. All right, well, I'm gonna try Mountain House Trail. I believe that's what he had told me and there's parking right there. So my guess is that that's it. And if worse comes to worse, I had a good day. It's not a big deal. All right, let me get my howling butt back to the car. Okay, so Catskill Mountain House. I came to this park, paid 10 bucks to get in. So I drove up that road over there and found out it's a hike. And I asked a couple kids coming down from the hike, I go, I have a hurt foot, how hard is it? The guy's like, oh, it's easy. And the girl's like, no, stop. There is a bit of climbing. Um, so I totally empathize with him because you know, normally I'd be like, yeah, it's easy. Um, but when it actually isn't as easy. So you know what, I'm gonna take it easy. I've done enough today. I'm gonna, you know, park my car right here and Watch the sunset here. Maybe the sky will change pretty colors. The adventure has come to an end. It's time to head back to New Jersey, um, rest up my foot and go see Bubba. But I had a great last day. I got to go to Catterskills Falls. That was so much fun. And then I got to watch a pretty sunset here. Um, I'm not sure which lake this is, but it's near Catskills Mountain House. Um, but yeah, so I have a two and a half hour drive home and thank you for joining me on this adventure. Before I get too far, I need to clean these bug guts off of my windshield because it's right in my line of sight and it's gonna drive me nuts the whole ride home. Much better.